Hi, and welcome back. I'm Al Moore, and I'm here with our special guest, Jasmine Polk. And she is actually, we're following along with our segment of interviewing um, awesome seniors who have been in Media Crossroads. So tell me a little bit about what you have done with Media Crossroads, because I know you kind of started your own show here. Yeah, well, I started at Good Morning KU, and it was like my first day, and we didn't have anyone to do the weather. So Cal was like, we're going to need you to just throw yourself out there. I went outside, and I did the weather, and he was like, you need to host your own show. And I was trying to look for different shows, and I didn't see one that was entertainment-based because I'm a celebrity obsessed, like I love celebrities. Yeah. So I pitched it to Cal. I wanted to do like an e-news type show here at KU. So he let me um, come to his class and pitch it to all the students, and we actually got a lot of people signed up. So KU e-news lasted for about three semesters, and yeah, it was so fun. Yeah, but that's super awesome that you got the chance to do that. Mm -hmm. So with and so entertainment is kind of what you love to do. Mm -hmm. And I heard that you got an awesome internship last summer with People's Magazine. Do you want to talk a yes. little bit more about that? Well, it was a magazine program that I had applied to, and they set me up with People Magazine, which was so fun because it's basically what I do all day, every day, stalk celebrities. Mm -hmm. So some of the things I got to do was interview Randy Jackson, Sarah Palin. I got to write some clips that are online and just fun things like that. So yeah, it was great. So what do you think was your funnest experience, like most fun thing that you got to do with People's Magazine? Because I know you said that you like once got to call like all these restaurants around LA looking for Taylor Swift. Yes. Like there's some weird things so, you got yeah, to do. So yeah, my boss like came up to me and was like, we need to find Taylor Swift. It was right after she broke up with Ke Calvin Harris. So they were like, call all these lists of restaurants and um, see if you can find her. So that was fun. But probably the most fun thing I had to do was they gave me like an hour to find a book for, it was like Bobby Brown had just released his new book and they were like, you have an hour to find this book, read it and write a story on it. And I was, oh, it was wow. so hot and I'm from Nebraska and it, I was in New York trying to find a book and it was very stressful <laughs> but also fun at the same time as like a challenge. So yeah, that was probably the most fun I had. But so was adjusting to New York hard then since you're from Nebraska, like for that very internship? Very hard, yeah. It was like the subway was hard for me and it was just a lot of people. I'm used to like slow, you know, Nebraska yeah. style living and it's very expensive and there was a roach in my room one time and I like oh. freaked out yeah I wasn't into that so <laughs> yeah I don't think anyone would love that <laughs> it was disgusting but I, I like New York mm -hmm. yeah so I heard you got in a little trouble with some trash one day at People's Magazine oh my gosh do so, you want to tell that funny story <laughs> okay it was like my second day on the internship and I was trying to be a productive intern like they tell you to be and there was a lot of trash in my section that I was sitting in so I was like hey let me go take out this trash and I forgot my badge that had like my, it's like a face badge and you have to swipe it to get in mm -hmm. and out of every room. So I go in the trash room and I throw the trash away and I turn around to leave and the door was locked and I didn't have my badge. So I was locked in the trash room for about 30 minutes on my second <laughs> day of my internship and no one came in for, I was just sitting there waiting because I didn't want to knock and be weird. I was just nervous, so yeah. I was locked in there for 30 minutes till someone saved me, so yeah. Starting off strong. Good internship right there. But that's memorable. They probably remember you because yeah, of that. Yeah, the girl that got locked in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome, though, still. Yeah. Um, but so you're graduating in May, mm -hmm. so do you have any big plans for the future? Um, I'm probably going to go back to New York. Um, I really want to work for Wendy Williams, so Wendy, if you're watching hire me. I won't get locked in the trash this time. <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing to promise. <laughs> So yeah, New York is probably where I'm going to end up. So Yeah, that's so cool. Well, yeah. thank you so much for coming back to your old stomping grounds yeah, thank here. Thank you for having me. This is my first time being interviewed, so it's weird. Yeah, different being lot. on the opposite <laughs> roles here. <laughs> right. <laughs> Do you have anything else to add? Um, well, I guess advice to fellow Jayhawks. Yeah. Um, I guess if there's not a lane that, you, well, if you don't see something that's here yet, you can create your own lane. So if you're interested in something that we don't have here, you can create it yourself, kind of what I did with E! News. So that's probably some just advice I yeah. can leave you with. That's some great advice <laughs> for the Jayhawks here. Yeah. Well, we wish you the best of luck in your success thank you. in New York, and we hope you have an awesome time there. But thank you. thank you so much for coming on, and we'll be back with the news.